welcome to day four of the BMW Motorrad International GS Trophy in Albania. Today we'll leave Famasatira for a 135 kilometer loop with more than half of it being off-road. We'll start on-road but we're told it's so poorly maintained that it's going to feel a little bit like off-road. Challenging steep riding up the mountains and at the top we're going to negotiate tight technical forest trails and then back down again to permit to fuel up and head back to camp. And once the riders return to base camp, they're going to be faced with three special stages. They're going to have a timed relay trail, they're going to have a unique navigation challenge, and they're going to have a race, sort of. But before we talk about all that, we're going to cut to the action on the trail and see what the riders are up to out there. Roman road with the rocks and just kept going chunk and chunk and chunk and chunk and chunk and it went on forever. And forever's not done yet because the participants are going to get back here and they got three special stages they still got to do. So we're going to go check out the action. And now I'm here at the first special stage of the day, the Pharma Satira Trial Relay. The first team member must go through the creek, negotiate the woods, pop out, and do a high five to the second team member. Second team member, along through the trail, in between the ribbons and the cones, make a very tight turn through the parallel logs, high five the third team member, who must do the slalom through the cones, bring the bike over, load it on the trailer, and all three team members tie it down safe to go. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're at the second special stage for today, and there's a load of motorcycles over here, but they're parked. The competitors are now getting instructions for the navigation challenge. They're going to be given a GPS, and they're going to have to walk into this forest, find a second GPS, transfer the coordinates to it, and make their way back. Hopefully they do it in enough time to finish, but it's clear some won't. We'll see how they do. It's actually kind of an anti-race. Most races are based on time, and this one is based on time as well, but it's the slowest time. The riders are, when they start, as soon as their front wheel crosses a barrier, the clock starts. As soon as their rear wheel crosses this barrier, the clock stops. Well, 
Well, we're roughly halfway through the competition, and just when you think things are going to get easier, the trophy doubles down and things get harder. Today was the shortest riding day, but it was also one of the hardest and best riding days, and it was an extra special challenge. So what's that mean for the competition? Well, with three special stages today, it can really scramble up the leaderboard. I can't wait to see how the teams are doing. Let's check it out.